All right, so I got a real interesting fruit for you guys today. We got another fig review. This one's called Verdone, and it's from an Italian grower named Nikki. This is not the Verdone that is very commonly found in Italy or even the United States. Um, you know, it's unfortunate because this is gonna get kind of mixed up with that Verdone. You know, there's a, there's a green skinned, red interior, quite large fruit that's pear shaped. That is the Verdone. That is well documented. It is grown by a lot of growers across the world. Um, and that particular fruit is just vastly different than this one. However, they share the same name. So it's unfortunate. I don't, you know, it's not my fault. I didn't name the fruits, guys. I'm just repeating, telling you what they're called. So again, this one is Verdone and the source of it is very particular from a grower named Nikki in Italy. And I'm gonna taste the fruit first. It's just so strikingly beautiful, by the way. And the, the outside, before we talk about the fruit, before we talk about the variety, it's got a really good shape to it. You can see it's pretty much blue. It is a blue fruit. So people are like, blue fruits don't exist. There are no blue figs. I could count probably at least 10 varieties I have that are blue. Anyway, that's the inside. It's, oh man, I can't wait to try this. I haven't had it really since last year. My tree is grafted. We'll go look at it. I have it in a pot and it's really the only one I have and I've been actually making copies of it because after last year I realized just how good it is that I was like, holy crap, this has got some nice potential. And you can also see it's pretty much oval shaped. The skin does pretty decent in terms of shedding that water and not absorbing it, I've noticed. The birds go after this one. Um, it's just got a lot of characteristics going for it. And let's try it. Wow. Yep. Very, very good. So I was pretty... The fruit I had last year was a little strange because the skin was a bit furry, if I recall correctly. But the pulp was nice and thick, and I was like, oh, this is, this is going to be a really good variety. On this one here, the berry flavor is quite intense. It's very sweet, very jammy. Um, it's a great tasting fruit. There's a little bit of the skin. Skin has really no flavor to it. Might be a little bit of spoilage in that one. And, uh, you know, as I plant these trees in the ground, at some point I will plant this variety in the ground. It'll change, the fruits will change. I hope that they'll get a little bit more elongated in shape. That the, um, Maybe the stem is a bit longer on some of them. You can see this one here has a bit of a longer stem. And then of course, has got a nice, longer, slightly slender body, but some of them on the bottom can be a bit flat. And that's not ideal. But yeah, I'm still impressed with this. There's that particular branch. I even have um, an air layer here. I think that's maybe where my extra copy is. Look at the roots. They're kind of like pinkish on this. Weird. It's not that healthy either. So I'm, I'm trying to hopefully get it out of this pot, put it into in the ground and really rejuvenation prune it over a couple years and get it much healthier. Here you can see the leaf pattern, but you know, is that really the leaf pattern? I don't know. Cause it'll change. A lot of this will change, but you can tell it's it's got these long, longer leaves, um, jagged edges, long fingers, kind of like an LDA in a sense. 
Uh, this is actually Ishia Black. I'm looking at the wrong tree. But uh, yeah, it's been, it's been relatively productive. Not the most productive. It did get a greenhouse head start. I don't know when it ripens. I don't know how hardy it is. We don't know a lot about it. I can tell you this. This is a local Italian variety. So it's not a variety that uh, is well documented like the Verdone that is well documented in Italy. This is a variety that at least I believe is just some random unknown that was found in Italy. And I guess Nicky took it upon himself and named it Verdone. So no relation to the other one. Um, I wouldn't even recommend really growing the other one. Verdone is a just general, it's just not the greatest fruit here at least. It might be, you know, in a drier place, warmer place, that's for sure. But here it's lacking. Um, and then that's just, that's it. You know, we're going to plant it. We're going to see what it does, continue to evaluate it. That's Verdone. Thank you guys for watching. The berry flavor actually was pretty good. Really sweet. We'll see you soon, all right? Hit that subscribe button. Check out our blog, figboss.com. See you for the next one.